If your biggest worry in life is existential, you live a great life. If your biggest worry is the sky falling and not sanitation, nutrition, getting murdered on the way home or being beaten, you live a very nice life. You do. <laughs> this climate change nonsense can only happen in a rich, generally peaceful society. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back on a new video. Today, we're going to check it out. Charlie Cook drops mic answering popular leftist question. Okay, this is going to be good. I call him Charlie Cook because no kicking us. Let's get right to today's video. So I'm in a crisis communication class at my college, and we were asked to come up with solutions for like the population control and whether you know we want to feed more people or whatever. Well, one of my peers said that the solution should be that the U.S. should pay about three million dollars a year for contraceptives for the world's contraceptives. My question is, how do we get the average student to realize that that money doesn't just come from the government? It's not magic. It's so I'll do you, you know, one better. The so the, the the premise of your class is that we have too many people. And we don't have a, we, one of the things. Yeah, I, I reject the premise. We, 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 need more, we need more children, not less yes. children. Uh, our country's on the verge of a population collapse. And so here, here's one piece of advice I'll give you for everyone in the room. Um, as soon as you're talking about how we're going to pay for something, we've already lost the debate. First, you should say, why should we pay for that nonsense at all? And by the way, we shouldn't fund contraceptive. We shouldn't fund any of that garbage. But back to what you're saying. So this is, this is basically you're being taught earth worship, Okay. And that's, that's what's being taught in most schools, which is somehow we must put the earth above the well-being of human beings. Remember, we have a pro-human agenda, right? Now, we shouldn't abuse the earth. We shouldn't pollute the rivers or the lakes. But always we should have a belief in human supremacy. Mm. I know that's like a weird thing to say. But that's basically where this conversation goes right now. I believe human beings are image bearers. You're made in the image of God. Every life is a gift. should be preserved and protected. We have a million abortions a year every single year. And I believe if you can't get that issue right, then look at all the other issues you screw up beyond that. But also, this is something that happens in the academy far too often, which is we have too many people, we need to you know, get rid of population. I'm going to make a prediction that's the opposite. In 30 years, we're going to see declining population like you've never seen before. We're already seeing it here in America. So in the last year, you have a lot of people at home, people spending time locked down. You'd say, oh, birth rate's going to go up. It's a dramatic decrease like we've never seen before. Mm. Why? Half economic, right? It's expensive to have kids. People say, I'll have one of each, like they're picking out a Toyota or something, right? <laughs> the other is that if you don't believe that children are necessary to be fruitful and multiply, to replicate your values and replicate yourself, why have children? So if you don't teach people that having children is necessary, and those of us that believe in the Bible, we, we have an answer for that. It's like the second chapter of the Bible, be fruitful and multiply, it might be the third. Anyway, the point is that it's right there. <laughs> then why have children? If you, if you actually believe that climate change is an existential threat, which is complete gibberish, nonsense, and balderdash, and all of you guys should be unafraid to push back against, against all that garbage, because it's designed for one thing, power and control. Mm. And let me just tell you something that is a general rule. If your biggest worry in life is existential, you live a great life. If your biggest worry is the sky falling and not sanitation, nutrition, getting murdered on the way home or being beaten, you live a very nice life. You do. <laughs> this climate change nonsense can only happen in a rich, generally peaceful society. This doesn't, you think that the people in the slums of India who have to worry, the 300 million that don't have access every single day to functioning toilets, you think that they're worried about the sky falling? Or maybe that they want a coal, pow a coal fire power plant to be able to have a hospital or a school. And so I guess the final point I'll make on this, which is so important, is reject the premise. The premise of that whole thing is that more people, population increasing, much reduced people. I don't agree with that at all whatsoever. I think that we should have, we have a commandment to be fruitful and multiply. I do not believe even close that human population is what is destroying the entire earth. And even beyond that, I think that if people, if that's their biggest concern, just it's nice to lightly remind them that you live a great life. Maybe you should worry about improving yourself, not destroying the world around you. Thank you. Thank you. It's good. Thank you.
is as simple as that. Charlie, this guy, this this speech right here is the mic dropped. Damn, it's 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 a beautiful answer. Like uh, uh, climate change, uh, I know about it. The people are seeing population also in the world is increasing. Perf. It's 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 only happening in a civilized society that uh, probably they have good economy and everything's working well. You don't come over to someone like India or Africa as a whole and start telling us about climate change. It's it's it, it's it's a very funny topic. <laughs> like people are going to like uh, climate change. Have you think about how you're going to survive, how you're going to eat, how you're going to feed your family? They talk about the the what again climate change. People, it's other civilized countries. I keep on saying, like, somewhere like America, UK, uh, Canada, Australia, probably. Um, you see them talking about climate change. You should be very careful about polluting everywhere. And also about child control. You have to give birth to five or give birth to two. You have to give birth to one. Or you don't give birth at all. Those are, those are nice countries, like America. Yeah, they are checking their population. And the funny thing is that on top of the checking the population, the population is still declining. In Africa, we have family planning. Don't get me wrong, there's family planning. We do family planning. How many children you want to give birth to? You, you won't um, give birth to more children than what you can take care of. That's true. Family planning is very perfect. No matter the country, no matter the economic crisis, you have to have a family planning. It is essential. In Africa, we do it. But your main priority is not just about climate change or family planning as a whole is about surviving it's about able to fend for your family and also your extended family to support them and also to think about how you grow yourself to be much better no but no one people talk about climate change but it's it's not as rampant as in the u.s or in the uk like climate change is a is a minimal topic when it comes to like talking in africa as a whole like is it is a very 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 minimal topic we we allow god to take care of the <laughs> of the climate of the weather of everything about how everything happened for polluting the rivers and those kind of things or the oil spillage we are we are against it we are against it i know that that itself is terrible guys that stuff is just very 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 terrible bro we barely have such topic as a priority it's very minimal. The most priority topic is about survivor of the fittest. How will you be able to fend for your family? How will you be able to live a good life? That is that is what we're talking about more. The student right there that is talking about um the student right there that forgot the topic that there was a topic in that class about contraceptive, spending three million dollars on contraceptive. Our friend was talking about spending three million dollars that the government should spend three million dollars on contraceptive. That is it. It's very massive. Who does that? Three million dollars on contraceptive. Is it a pharmaceutical company or what are they doing? Are they sharing condom everywhere? <laughs> or other drugs or other contraceptives? It's it's crazy, guys. It's crazy. The world we are living in right now is because we are very, very promiscuous. That is why such topic is coming up. We are very promiscuous. One million abortion in just in the US alone, guys. One million abortion. It's just a country, US. We have not gone to UK, Australia, Canada. Even in Africa as a whole, there's ab abortion is also high. I won't lie. Abortion too is also high. But the generation we are in right now, we are very promiscuous and we we glorify promiscu promiscuity. Uh, how do you call this? We glorify promiscuousness. They they glorify it like yeah you have slept with five thousand girls or five hundred girls or, or twenty girls ah you sleep with that girls are sleeping like sleep with more boys they can even imagine even more than that age guys you see a girl twenty five she has slept with like fifty boys already that is that is massive guys promiscuousness is something that is rampant no one wants to get married before they have sex and live a good life again anymore they want to sleep with as many as they can they say life is short. But that is why all these um, contraceptives will keep on. Someone like that, her friend, will talk about it. 
a plan or an idea, a silly idea, if I, if I would say, of spending $3 million on contraceptives. Whew. And that funds that the government is going to bring out is coming out from taxpayers' money. You see, if we're able to, like, the taxpayers are paying tax. I mean, I'm paying tax in the US. If we're able to, like, say, uh, my tax, I, I, know, I know where my tax is going to. My tax shouldn't go for all this contraceptive or... Okay, I'll suppose my tax go for military because this is a way to protect us. If we're able to allocate where our tax is going to, it will be very, very good. Because such students won't have brought out such idea in the first place. Because I can't bring up my, my heart on sweat, my time was short, um, hustling, I pay my tax and my tax is going for contraceptives. It's, it's, it's terrible, guys. In this generation that's very promiscuous, I should, I should keep on promoting the promiscuous promiscuousness this uh, I'm sorry should I keep on promoting such such nonsense no so it's 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 a, it's a very silly question that her friend brought up to her because that itself should not be something of priority what should be real priority is how to live a good life that's it how to survive how to grow more Comment down below and think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to us. Many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I, I just bought a bag. Like an old lady. I'm back. Wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, you in my bed. I got scales all over.